All right, what are we looking at here? Is this uh, American hype what it's all about? So I leave for the airport today in about two hours and I need to get some shots for one video from yesterday and I want to shoot a video right now using webbed gloves for swimming. So we're going down to the pool. I'm gonna go there and back. Women are suddenly obsessed with men swimming, so I'm gonna make my wife obsessed with me. Honestly, I had no right being at this fancy Hilton hotel for the MLS All-Star game when I realized I'd forgotten my running shoes. So the hotel pool doubled as the first place I'd swim laps in a decade and my new bathroom. A little chillier than expected, but reducing my surface area, I went for my fastest lap after reading the world's fastest lap time is 46.8 seconds. I thought I could easily beat that, except I'd forgotten about the size difference. So for conversions, the world record time for two laps across this 40 foot pool should be 11.42 seconds. That seemed easy. For the first time ever, I came a little slower at 19.36. Even with my muscular frame, I knew something was wrong. So I gave it another lap, but this time with webbed fingers. Feeling like Mako, but swimming like Nemo, I managed to shave off a whole second, which gave me an idea for ultimate speed. Ultimate speed. Still dripping, I ran to my room, shaved in some racing lines Paul Walker would have been proud of, and headed back to my bathroom for a final and fastest lap before the MLS All-Star game, making me only five seconds slower than the record. You guys, my fans that make this happen, appreciate it. Let's hop in the hot tub. Too hot. Too bloody hot. Um, slight problem. So as I was filming that bit by the pool, my phone didn't charge last night, so I put my portable charger on my phone, not thinking about the fact that the splash in water may destroy it. So. Now it's broken, doesn't work, and I'm at 28%. And my flight is in about an hour, and I don't have a charging cable or anything. So I'm trying to charge it up as much as I can before I go. But I'm hungry. Let's get some food before we have to get out of the room. There's a market down the road. We're gonna go. I think it's like, a few minutes to nine. Not quite open yet. I'm gonna wait for those signs to change. And I, I think I'm gonna get a bacon, egg and cheese bagel. I've never had one of those before and it seems like a quintessential American thing. Normally I always have my phone on me. I'm not like glued to my phone. I don't check my phone all the time, but I feel naked not having it. I feel vulnerable. Look like doodah over here. I'm gonna ask if I can pet it, him. Huh? Excuse me. Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog, please? Thank you. Hi. Clark. Clark, just like mine. I got one. Just like him. Clark. Hi, Clark. Hi. That's enough. That'll do. Cool. Thank you very much. Bye, Clark. Have a good day. I was about to say he's uh, better behaved than Duda, but he didn't sit. Duda doesn't sit either on every command. So cool. Just off leash, walking down through downtown. Love it. You know. Sitting and waiting here for the next 15 minutes without a phone is something I've been thinking about a lot recently. Not a lot, that's, that's an overstatement. But just how before we had phones, smartphones, we would stand waiting for the bus, playing with our feet, just looking around, seeing what was going on around us. But now I find myself, even just like 30 seconds, I'll pull out my phone and look at something. I've just told you that I don't always look at my phone. <laughs> while I'm doing things or while I'm heading somewhere. But like in the downtime between things, yeah, I'll just pull it out and then I'll, I'll look at it for a second and think, what am I doing? I don't need to be looking at this and it goes back in my pocket. But just sitting here without the phone, I'm forced to look around and I haven't done that in so long. It's not a great deal to look at if I'm honest. Maybe the bakery isn't open? Oh, here we go. Asiago. Yeah, please. Thank you. Do you have normal bacon or only turkey like bacon? Pork bacon? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Hi, right, could I please get a chunky monkey, please? Thank you. Rugi should like that. And Shay. Maybe. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate it. No, Thanks. Uh, all right. Good. Thank you. All right. What are we looking at here? Is this uh, American hype? What it's all about? A couple catch ups. Oh, bad boy. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that clip of Messi and Bad Boys Two. He answers the door and it just sounds really funny. All right. What's the what's the rules of engagement on one of these? Do you just hold it like this and then just go into it? Seems messy. Haha, <laughs> messy. Okay, I get the hype. I get the hype. Thanks. Okay, we made it back. What charge are we on? We've gone for 45 minutes and we've only gone up by about 15% charge. Okay, not good. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it as late as I can before I call the Uber. 62, okay. Good, um, bye. Hotel room, ta-da. Absolutely. Uh, you have to say Get you bye. sorted there, I will. Thank you, and you have a good rest of the day. Thank you, sounds like you're a good dad, man. Thanks, bro, have a good one. All right, where are we going in? Departures, departures. All right, gate B23. All right, I gotta tell you what this tastes like. Carrot, pineapple, turmeric, and lime before I have to dump it or drink it. We'll see. Ugh, nasty. Now it's going in the bin. So I don't mean to waste it, but what the fuck? How are you meant to drink that? That's Gus. Hi, Gus. Gus is good boy. I got on the wrong bus. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at the map and I see we're going the wrong direction. So I go back and look at the last clip. In front of the bus says rental car facility. Donut. Back again. <laughs> Lovely. And here we are. Okay. Catch you on the flippity flip. The flippity. The flip. Catch you on the flippity flip.